Preparation, planning, contacts, preparation, planning, and contacts. I've got a little analogy that I use. You know, fishing is a hard, if you're not a fisherman, it's sometimes a hard game to understand. And if you can relate it to something, a lot of people understand golf. Why does a guy like Greg Norman, whoever, Ernie Els, being South African, Tiger Woods, why do they have so many hole-in-ones? Is it luck to get a ball that big and a cup that big from 200 yards? There's a little bit of luck involved, but what they do is they put opportunity in their favor. The good golfer hits the green. He's on the green every time. He chooses the right club. He's got a good caddy. Fishing's the same. You've got a good team around you. You fish the right bait. You fish the right hooks. You're on the green. A good fisherman, a good captain, that 10% ten, that, 10 that catches 90% of the fish generally is fishing on the green. He's not in the rough. He's not in the bunker. He's not in the water. He's on the green. The chances of him running over the hole are far higher than the golfer that's in the bunker or the angler or the fisherman that's in the bunker. So it's a good analogy to use. Stay around the fish. Being on the fish is the key. If you're not on the fish, you can't catch him. No matter how good your bait is, no matter how sharp your hooks are, no matter how good the team is, if you aren't on the fish, you can't catch them. And that's where modern technology, that's probably been the biggest change in the game, I would say, one of the biggest changes in the game, I'd say in the last five years. There's so much information we can use now to put the odds in our favor to stay on the green. And that's why those guys are probably catching more fish. They're on the green the whole time. The chances of them running over the big fish, getting the ball in the hole is much higher. I think it also comes down to, you know, the golf analogy. These guys are practicing six, eight, 10 hours a day. They're putting the time in. You know, when we fish, when I fish in Australia, where Brad fishes, where Bouncer fishes, you know, in our season, we'll fish 75 days straight. We don't have days off. A day off, you know, we still go fishing if we have a cancellation because we want to be out there because today could be the day they bite and the day that that big one comes along. And when you're fishing day in and day out, you're so much more in tune with where the body of fish is, what the water's doing, what the bait's doing, and, and, and you can keep your fresh bait supply up. In Australia, we, we have to catch our own bait. We can't buy bait. So we bait fish every day, catching mackerels, tunas, you know, wahoos, if they're not too big, they go on the table. If they're small, they go out as a bait. So. I point out one thing. What he calls bait, we call a great day of fishing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I'm, I'm fortunate I get to spend half my life in, on the Great Barrier Reef and the other half in some of the, the best fishing places in the world. So, and that's what we, we, we like catching fish just as much as our clients do. And probably we like catching fish more than our clients and bosses do. And if we're not that. catching, we're grumpy. And we want to go catch fish more than they do. They're happy just to have a good day out on the water and catch some fish. When I fish, I want to catch more than anybody else. And I want to catch, some, you know, in Australia, it's all about size. Whoever catches the biggest fish wins. And we like catching big fish. I like fish that pull drag on 130s. That's just the way it is. But, you know, you fish in different places. You fish sailfish in Stewart. You fish in St. Thomas. You fish in Dominican. You go to... Guatemala. Everywhere we go and travel, you know, we're all picking each other's brains all the time. Hey, we tried this out, it worked really good, or, you know, we're having trouble adapting this technique to, to these fish. Have you got any, this is what we're doing, what are your thoughts on this? So it's networking and it's keeping in touch with your friends. And everybody in the industry, you know, is really in, into helping each other out. We all want to do well, we want to promote fishing and sustainability and the Billfish Foundation. And we're all, we're all great supporters of the Billfish Foundation. We want there to be more fish. There's more fish, it's better for us, better for our boss, better for our clients.